Hello everyone, welcome to another Clan Blitz tips video. If you already know these tips, great, but there are still a lot of people who don't practice these things. With that out of the way, let's continue where we left off in the previous video. Number 6. Discard your football. When you pick up a football, you light up like a squid mystery and everyone will know where you are. If you've accidentally picked up a football and there are enemies near you, throw your football away. If you don't do this, you'll constantly be tracked by your enemy and no matter how much you try to avoid them in a fight, it will not matter because they will always know where you are. But when you discard your football, your enemy suddenly loses track of you and you can use that to ambush them. Take this clip for example. I had just grabbed the football, but because there were enemies near me, I threw it away. When I did this, the enemy didn't know where I went and so he thought the coast was clear. But little did he know, I was waiting around the corner being a sneaky squid. And remember, when you throw your football away, you can always pick it back up shortly after. But you're like, what if I'm unable to pick it back up and it disappears? Well, think about it. What's better, you losing the football and staying alive, or you dying while holding onto the football because they were able to track you? Number 7. Pay attention to this way. In Clan Blitz, this way has three purposes. Purpose number one, when your teammate says this way and you're near them, they want you to give them clam, so do it if you have some. But remember, make sure you don't give them enough for 10 unless you're really close to the basket. Take this clip for example, I have 9 clams and the enemy's basket is right there. My teammate didn't know I had 9 clams even though the number was right above my head. But because I said this way, he noticed I needed a clam and gave me one. And voila, we scored. Purpose number two. Now when your teammate says this way and you're not near them, like really far off in the distance, your teammate is not telling you to swim to them and give them clams. They want you to jump to them with your clams so you can give them enough to break the basket open. In this clip, I almost have enough for football and my teammates can give me enough for one. But unfortunately, they weren't paying attention to my this way, my signal telling them to jump to me, and we missed our opportunity. Purpose number three. And finally, when your teammate says this way, and you have the football, they want you to jump to them with it. In the same match, my teammate has the football, and I'm in a good spot for them to jump to me. But unfortunately, they failed to pay attention again, and we lost the game. Here's an example of me paying attention to my teammates this way when I have the football. Number 8. Pick up all the clams in your base. If you don't do this, a sneaky squid, like me, who has a lot of clams, can create a football right underneath your nose and score an easy goal. Number 9. Defending on Sturgeon Shipyard. On Sturgeon Shipyard, it is crucial that you control this position at all times. At all times. Not only do you gain high ground and you can see where your enemies are, but you can prevent them from easily throwing a football or clams from there. This is what happens when the opponent does not defend that position. We can throw all the footballs and clams we want from a safe distance. Number 10. Taking different paths with multiple footballs. When you and your teammate both have a football and you're both trying to push, separate and take different paths. 
By doing this, you are forcing your opponents to split their attention. In this clip, my teammate on the left has a football, and it looks like they're going up to that position that I just told you about in the previous tip to throw the football. Instead of going up there with my teammate, I deliberately went to the right, forced the opponent to pay attention to me, while my teammate was easily able to score the goal. Anyway, that's it for now. If you found this or any of my tips helpful, please share this video because if your teammates benefit from this, then your team has a better chance of winning. Also, my other tips can be found in the video description below. Love you all! Bye!